Hey everybody, I'm Jim Classic, and you are watching Geekin' It, and for today's video, I would like to talk about the Turtles of Skull, the Ninja Turtles and Masters of the Universe crossover line, which I have talked about in a couple of other videos, Raphael, and Krang. Starting with Raphael, we see the Turtles of Skull logo, we see the figure right here on the, the bubble on the card. And, uh, you know, artwork of He-Man, Leonardo, the ooze and the explosion and the sewer pipes. You know, just like the other figures. And, uh, well, judging by the uh, picture here, it looks like Raphael has adopted the Ram Man theme. I suppose that makes sense, considering Raphael is the hard-headed character. Now, moving along on the back, we have, we see a really nice artwork of Raphael fighting Slaker, as, as previously reviewed. And I believe we see Skeletor and Shredder in the background looking on as this fight takes place. And I gotta say, it looks pretty cool. Comic book included inside. And the turtles tracked Shredder back to Krang's Technodrome. Raph charged headfirst into the fray before a flash sent them to Eternia. Now, adorned in Ram Man's spare armor, Raph's back to tracking Shredhead and looking for a way back home. All right. Kind of gives a chills, doesn't it? Even in this 100 degree weather we're dealing with. Whew. What is that one? Of course, looking at the back, we see Raphael, we see Ram Man, mutated battering ram, Shredder, evil master of ninjutsu, and Beast Man, undercover henchman. You know, I did see Beast Man in the stores, and I, I kind of skipped on him considering I'm, I'm not a huge Beast Man fan, and I'm not a completionist, you know, um, but now I'm kind of curious, what's this undercover henchman business? Anyway, all right, maybe I'll pick up the character, I don't know yet. And it looks like the uh, the feature that they have here for Raphael is to remove Ram Man's helmet. All right, well, that's cool. I mean, as long as we get to see a good Raphael head sculpt under there, I'm, I'm okay with that. Anyway, that's enough about Raphael and the card. Let's open up this figure and see what he's all about. And here we have Raphael out of the package. And before we start talking about the figure, let's talk about the mini comic. This is a new one. We see Shredder and Skeletor. It looks like we have our heroes surrounded. We see Tila and the Turtles, Man in Arms, surrounded by, I guess that's the Mutant Rampan. Rampan? The Mutant Ram Man, Beast Man. Looks like Merman is down there. And Belly of the Beast. Man. Looking inside the comic, we see oh, we see our man He-Man, the transformation. We see Raphael right there. He's looking angry. We see uh, we see Leonardo. We see Tila. So yeah, it looks like it's got some pretty good artwork. We got the our characters on the back, just like we did on the back of the card. Well, that's enough of the comic book for right now. Let's talk about Raphael. And again, we have the same kind of masses of the universe. Heroic body type, but we have this really cool armor right here. Uh, it's it's not entirely based off of Ram Man, but it looks you know it's got it's got similar features. You know, got the big heavy iron shoulder pad. We see like a turtle shell pad right there. Of course, all the bracers are red. The boots are red. The uh, well, the undies are still still fur furry brown, but a red belt. Got the turtle shell back here. We see like the uh, bandana coming through the helmet, and even the helmet. Has a big old turtle shell on it. Look at that face underneath the shell. I really, really like that. This is a cool version of Raphael, I gotta say. Um, now we can take the helmet off. And taking the helmet aside real quick, you can see scratches right there above the eyebrows. We gotta see the bolts, see some cool little line detail. This is a nice little helmet. Oh, more scratches. So this helmet has definitely seen some action. Now, moving on to Raphael. I actually really like that head sculpt. Look. Look at that head sculpt right there. He has this, like, it doesn't have, that's not the look I would expect Raphael to have. I would expect to have the teeth, I would expect to have the teeth gritting. I would expect that. The angry Raphael. This, this is definitely the face, like, Raphael is stewing. Or he's like, just, he's at he's at the end of his line here, and he is 
about to explode. This is this is the Raphael before the explosion. But anyway, like I said, this is this is a really cool figure, much like the rest of. You know, we got the turtle shell as well. Uh, the shoulder pad here is, is separate from the chest brace. It is separate from the belt. But let's talk about articulation real quick. So the armor does limit the head a little bit, but he can still do a full rotation. Kind of can look up, but you have to force it, mostly because the bandana can look down a little bit. Looks like we have the usual shoulder joints right there, can rotate, except of course the armor piece does get in the way. Ooh, it really gets in the way here. Yeah, that armor piece really does get in the way of the rotation. Raphael does have limited articulation unless I remove the harness, which I which I could do. We might get to that in a minute. You know, elbows are elbowing. The wrist swivels. We can flex back and forth. We have the waist rotation. You know, ball jointed hips can kick out that far. Can go back that far. Can bend at the D. Shin swivel. Point. Flex. Same same level of articulation as just about every other He-Man figure, but, you know, got to go through it. Let's see. We can take the shell off. Oh, wait. Can we take the shell off? Yeah, we can take the shell off. Ooh. But it fights you. Take the shell off. It can become a shield. We see the uh, the faux turtle, or the I guess the real turtle shell underneath. But we take Raphael's head off. So we can take the whole thing apart. See? We can do a full rotation. And this is kind of cool. That's solid. It's like, it's like it, there's just enough. There's just enough flex and give to it. I like this. It's not. It's not too rigid and it's not too soft. I like it. And it's easy to remove. Like some of these things have those weird straps and everything on the back. It gets really annoying. At least I get annoyed by them. There we go. Of course, you can hold the shell as a shield. Raphael is not the type of person to use a shield, but you know. And of course, like I said, it is kind of grim to use your own shell as a shield, but whatever. Let's talk about the weapons. Well, first, let's get that helmet back on, because I, I do like that. I do like that helmet. So, we have two weapons. One is a really oversized side. This is more of a sword than it is a side, but it's made out of a somewhat flexible gray plastic, a light, maybe shiny gray plastic. It has some nice detail to it. It does have at least some nice detail right there at the hilt. And I do like the curve of the cross guards. I don't know. I don't know what it's called on the side, but I'm going to call it a cross guard. Um, but it has a cool look to it, just like an oversized sigh. Now, this is the real... <laughs> this is the real item that comes with Raphael. Like, look at this thing. It goes over his hand. So you put, you know, Put it over his hand right there, and he just has. Uh, it, it's just, it's just a, a a punch glove. Like there's a punch, there's a fist there, and this m these metal pieces are formed into a side. Like even has bolts, and he even has bolts to hold this thing together. And he can just he can just run you through with this thing. I mean this this is this is a murder weapon. This thing. This thing is pretty... Look at that. That's cool. <laughs> anyway, this thing is just deadly looking. I mean, this is the kind of thing I would probably expect Raphael to use. Because he is crazy like that. Anyway, before... Before we move on to Krang, let's talk about comparisons. Moving on to comparisons. Starting with... Leonardo, the leader of the group, and Donatello. We have three of the four Ninja Turtles present and accounted for, just waiting on Michelangelo. Of course, we have Slaker, who is really tall. Maybe I should adjust my camera a little bit. There we go. Slaker. And, of course, we have Mouse Jaw right here. Oh, and he is going to stand. That is awesome. We have Skeletor. An actual Skeletor. The 2002 Origins version of Skeletor, but it's still Skeletor. Oh, he's not going to stand. 
he's going to put up the fight. And we have the 2002 Origins He-Man. And we have Filmation Teela. Now, these Turtles of Grayskull fit in pretty well with these uh, Masters of the Universe figures. I'm digging it. I'm enjoying it. Now, let's move on to Krang. Moving on to Krang, we have the uh, evil Utron from Dimension X, or whatever timeline we're dealing with here, B disembodied brain, you know, whatever. Utron, I like, I like, I'm not gonna lie, I like Utron better, but whatever. Starting with the box, of course, we have the Turtles of Grayskull logo with pictures of Krang in the top corners. We see the figure in an open window of the box. We see his, I guess, new android body. We see Krang up there on the top corner, and we see a bunch of his accessories. It looks like a battle axe, a flail, and a mid portion for the uh, torso. Of course, we have a nice little border, which I kind of like the uh, exploding ooze sewer systems. On to this side of the box, we see Krang. On this side of the box, we see Krang. And moving on to the back of the box, we have a really cool artwork here of Raphael battling Krang. And I think, yep, and we got Snake Mountain in the background. I love, I love this box art. I love, so far, Mattel has not disappointed with the box art. I'm loving every minute of this stuff. It always, they always tell a cool story, and, you know, I'm just having so much fun. Like, it looks like Raph, our headstrong character, is battling Krang one-on-one, -on -one, which is probably not such a great idea, but he's doing it because that's what Raph does. Now, I do have to say something that strikes me a little strange. Now, the one thing that strikes me strange is it says Krang, alien brain in a Megator body. Now, I'm not going to lie, I don't pretend I know every aspect about Masters of the Universe, but I don't remember there being a character called Megatar. Uh, that does not ring any bells. He doesn't look very familiar. I mean, this looks like a completely original concept. Um, maybe, I, uh, maybe I should look this guy up, because he just does not look familiar. I mean, it, it, you know, some of the body armor does resemble that of Krang's android body from Turtles, but you know the the green ogre like thing just it, it's not ringing bells with me. Maybe maybe it was in like one episode of the filmation cartoon, or maybe the comics. But I, I'm just nothing's ringing any bells. So I'm gonna have to look this guy up. Anyway, moving on back. In a mad science experiment gone wrong, Krang crosses dimensions and discovers the strongest power in the universe: the power of Grayskull. Now, with a stronger, faster Megatar android body, Krang will stop at nothing until the power is his. The power to be supreme. The power to be almighty. The power to be master of the universe. <laughs> and of course we have Krang's features here, which is you can place Krang inside the belly compartment of the android, and he has swappable weapons in his arms. And now... And that is the package. Let us open up this figure and see what he is all about. Now, before I continue on here, it took me two months to find Raphael in the stores, which is what took me so long to, to get around to Krang. I've had Krang. I've had Krang for two months, but I like to do my review in duos here. And I had seen Raphael. I was being irresponsible. I don't like, well, I can't buy this right now. I should buy it later. Two months later, I finally found it in the stores again. So I picked it up. While I was at it, I wasn't going to make that mistake again. I also picked up Shredder. Now, I'm not going to be talking about Shredder today. I'd rather wait till I get, like, Michelangelo or something. Maybe if uh, I get Tila? Or maybe Beast Man, depending. But, you know, I'm holding off on Shredder. He'll, he'll, be, he'll be kept in reserve. So I don't make that mistake a second time. <laughs> that we have Krang and all of his accessories out of the package. Let's start with the collector's card. Because these deluxe figures don't come with comic books. They come with these heavy cardstock cards. And here we have a, <laughs> a really cool picture of... of oh, sorry, the glare. And we have this really cool picture of Krang in the Megator android body. Which I'm still not sure what Megator is, but yeah. This picture makes him look 
pretty mean and something nasty to deal with. Turning the card around, we do see some stats. Alien Brain and a Megator Android. Mutagen Master Powers. Krang is a genius alien warlord, master strategist and tactician, Dimension X gadgets and tech. Megator, who I still don't know who that is, giant strength in an android body, grows to a giant size and weapon augmentation. So that's that's Megator and, and Krang. Anyway, let's talk about the figure. Here we have this big green orc looking thing with like kind of like a Roman helmet with like the little slits in the eyes, horns, got a little got the little uh, uh, bun, what's it called? Dude dude bun or something? I forget what they're called. But anyway, yeah. You know, got this cool looking head sculpt. We got the uh, chest plate with a big skull on it and the chains and suspenders. We got uh, chains on the briefs. Cool little detail right there on the belt. This is definitely a bigger body, not your standard Masters of the Universe body. I would say this is a remold of Slaker. But I got some big ass hands here with some red bracers. Got some big old legs here with the, uh, you know, the regular boots, the regular type of boots, but they are, you know, slightly larger. We got some articulation. Ball jointed head. He can look around, do a 360. You know, can look up that high, can look down a little bit. Decent, decent shoulder rotation. Oh, the hands just fly off for no reason. Uh, elbow flexes. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll get to this part later, don't worry. There we go. All right, so hand can rotate, hand can flex. Waist rotation, which we'll get to the waist in a minute as well. Can not. I, he can't kick all that great. And I don't want to test those ball joints. And I can only go back so far. Knee bend. Shin swivel. Point. And flex. Now, see all these accessories right here. You can do many things with the Megator body. Because right now, I guess this is just Megator all by himself. Here, here is the Dimension X Warlord, Krang. And... I don't know. He's okay. I don't know. He's okay. Um, I would have to say Krang is the weakest accessory here. I mean... I've just seen better Krang figures before. I mean, he's got the face. He's got, like, the, the scowl and the... You know the, the the brain, the brain ridges and everything. He's got like the creepy tentacles. He's very hollow. But there's a reason for that. But I mean, it's it's sculpted okay. But it's just it's not my favorite. I, I'm not a big fan of these tentacles. Just kind of like kind of waving out like that. Um, but it does come with this piece right here, which is integral to the rest of the figure. So, what we're going to do is we are going to bisect the Megatar. Put the body there for right now. Oh, by the way, the belt comes off. No no traditional Lundies. Put that back there. And we'll put this right there. Now, we open this up, and Krang can fit in this little slot in there. Now, what I like to do is because of the... Uh, the wacky waving tentacles. I like to put each tentacle through those little boxes. So we're gonna put one through there. Oops, I'm gonna put one through there and one through there. So let's see. And then close the hatch. And then push Krang all the way back in. And then he's there we go. He's inside there. And we can put Megator on top. And boom! Here we have Krang in the Megatar Android body. And this is, you know, this is really how Crank should be displayed. Uh oh, we have a dog. What's wrong, dog? Oh. 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 Now that we've talked about Krang in his android body, or now that Krang is in his android body, we see him peeking out there from the uh, the, 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 the the tummy abdominal brace. We see the usual spheres that are here on, I think even on like traditional Krang. The back of the brace looks like 
like bricklayer for some reason. Why? I don't know, but kind of goes well with the uh, the chain suspenders. Looks kind of good. And um, yeah, this is kind of cool. This this definitely makes him look like some just horrible monstrosity. Now, Krang does come with. Let's tilt this up. Krang does come with two more accessories. He has a an axe. And he has a flail. Or is this a morning star? Or is that the same thing? I forget. I'm gonna call I'm gonna call it a flail. But yeah. Now the axe is well, looks like an axe. Bit low tech for Krang, but you know. A little chipped, a little damaged, a little worn. Got some cool little bolts and divots. Now, can he hold this with his hand? He probably can. I didn't actually try that part out. You know, I might not, I'm not sh sure if I want to try that. He probably can, but I have to loosen up this grip. This is a very tight grip. Let's see if it'll hold on this one. Yeah. He probably could hold it, but I'd have to like get like a blow dryer, heat this up a little bit, and kind of pry the hand open. I'm just not prepared to do that at the moment. But what he can do is that there is a little connecting port at the end of the axe. So we take off, ooh, hold on, I don't want to hit the camera. Take off the hand. The bracer does come off too, but we're not gonna, we're not gonna do that. And we're gonna plug that, the ax, right into the nub. Oh, okay, this is not, ooh, this is tight and it's not working. Let's try that again. There we go. Now we have the axe snugly fit on the wrist stump. And this looks like something we don't want to mess with here. We don't want to get in this guy's bad side, not by a long shot. Now, we take this wrist off and we put this, we put this connecting port on. <sighs> And that doesn't fit either, for a little to no reason. Let's try it again. There we go. Like a glove. So, here we have Krang in his android body mode with an axe weapon and a flail. And, I mean, this looks absolutely, utterly barbaric. <laughs> You know, this thing just, it looks like a nightmare. And I, and I mean that in a good way, not in a in a bad way. This toy is really cool. It just, I love you can swing this thing around. <laughs> I mean, there's, there's something that can be said about like, you know, sculpted weapons that are, you know, could get into a shape or whatever, but you know, just a good old flail that you can just knock your characters around with. Like, let's just, let's just for the heck of it, just grab Donatello. All right, all right, we're gonna just, whoop, there we go. Look at that. Krang can just beat the hell out of Donatello all day long. I mean, I mean that, that's just, that's just very silly. That, that is just very silly and I'm enjoying that. <laughs> Sorry, Donatello. Uh but anyway, yes. And of course, you can get Krang in multiple positions here, wielding his weapons, wielding the, the flail. And, uh, I mean, obviously, the flail will not pose unless you have a display stand to hold it up on this end. I just don't have anything around me right now. I wish I... You know, maybe I will. Maybe I'll find something before before we get to the editing room. But, you know. And this is... This spike ball? It It's... it. I think it's like solid plastic. You know, there's definitely a little bit of weight, a little bit of heft to this. And just look at that. You can even see there's like divots in the spikes, in the spike ball. There's dents. This thing has been used to God knows what. <laughs> and even just look at the plastic chain. Like, this is a plastic chain. This is really cool. All right. Like, they, you know, this is... <laughs> 
this is part of the budget right here because you know they had to make this little plastic chain thing and that probably just took time but yeah krang is this krang is awesome um you know and he and he falls over like a champ really um but yeah this krang is awesome i i really like the the pig headed orc headed face sculpt you know the uh Body armor is cool. I, I wish I could. I wish I liked Krang a little bit better. His sculpt. I don't know. It just it lacks. It lacks a certain personality. I think, like the turtles, definitely captured their personality. Mouse jaw. He's supposed to be mindless. He looks pretty mindless to me. Slaker. Slaker had the craziest head sculpt so far. And Krang. I don't know if he's bored. I don't know if he's annoyed. I don't know if he's constipated. I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing anything there. I'm just seeing just a scowl, and I don't think like if they were gonna make him scowl, I think they should have really made him scowl. Like at least even the orc faces. Yeah. Actually, even the orc face is kind of neutral, but I like the orc face. You know, Krang is Krang is. This is this is the mind behind the body, okay? Um, I think they should have just done a better job giving Crank some personality. I think they could have. I don't know why they didn't, but you know. Anyway, enough of about that. Oh my God, you did it again. Let's just talk about comparisons and just you know wrap everything up. Moving on to comparisons, let's start with Donatello right there, and we'll move on to Leonardo. Right there for Leonardo. Here we have Mouse Jaw. And of course, here we have the Psycho Turtle, Slaker. Which is still, might be my favorite out of the bad guys here. Of course, how can we forget about the master of the universe himself, He-Man? Well, let's just put him right there. We'll put him right there, okay? You get it. <laughs> it's getting crowded. And last but not least, we have Skeletor right there. And here we have it. So, one more Ninja Turtle to go. I did recently pick up Shredder. Um, I'm not going to be reviewing him until I have another character to review him with. Preferably Michelangelo, because he is the last of our turtles. Though, I am keeping an eye out for Tila. Um, and that's it, you yeah. know. Raphael is a really fun figure. I love the Ram Man armor. I love that like murder claw thing that he has for his right hand. And I really love Raphael's head sculpt. It has such a personality to it. Like not the personality I was expecting, but definitely has like a personality behind that like that 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 pseudo frown, that grimace, that like mm, kind of a look he's got going on. Uh, Krang, on the other hand, like, though I think the Megatar body is pretty cool, like this brutish orc looking thing, he's got some cool accessories, he's got that cool chain armor, I find Krang himself a bit lacking, and he is, both metaphorically and physically, the brains of this duo, um, but I don't hate it, I just think Krang could have been done better, either way. That's it for right now. I am looking forward to eventually getting my hands on Michelangelo. I'm looking forward to opening up the Shredder figure. And until the meantime, I will see you guys later. I'm Jim Classic. You have been watching Geek, and I will see you next time. Take care, everybody.